Hello my friends, it is I, Vadim. It appears that AMD has finally decided what to call the two remaining Radeon GPUs in the RX 7000 series lineup, awaiting their launch. Last week we learned about the upcoming RX 7800 XT through AMD board partner Powercolors Screw Up, when they accidentally published an RX 7800 XT product page on their official website disclosing most of its specifications and features. I've made a video on that, so go check it out after this one. And this week, ASRock revealed the RX 7700 XT name via the EEC Regulatory Office submission, additionally double confirming the RX 7800 XT name for the upcoming AMD GPUs. In this video, I will focus on bringing you the latest information about the RX 7700 XT specifications, performance, release date, and price. Let's start with the specifications. The graphics card features a cut-down version of the Navi32 GPU chip with either 54 or 48 compute units. I'm still not sure which configuration AMD chose to go with, but what I am sure about is that the RX 7700 XT will come with 12GB of GDDR6 memory, utilizing a 192-bit bus. If AMD opts for the same 18 gigabit per second memory speed as on the RX 7800 XT, then the 7700 XT will boast a bandwidth of 432 gigabytes per second. If you were hoping for a big upgrade over the RX 6700 XT, then this is not it, as the 7700 XT features the same 12 gigabytes memory capacity, which I expect will become obsolete quite quickly over the next few years as truly next-gen games start to come out. Of course, that is if you like playing your games on ultra-quality graphics settings. Don't expect any huge performance gains in games either. According to my calculations, the RX 7700 XT will be about 10-20% to better than the RX 6700 XT on average. According to the latest leaks, AMD plans to reveal both RX 7700 XT and RX 7800 XT at the end of this month at Gamescom with availability in stores sometime in September. I'm sure more details will leak before launch, so subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for an update. As for the price, expect the RX 7700 XT MSRP to be between $480 and $550. Considering the fact that you could buy a discounted RX 6800 or RX 6700 XT and enjoy a similar level of performance for many many months now, I think the RX 7700 XT is not going to be a welcome addition to the RX 7000 series family. It might not become a good value GPU until AMD offers another round of discounts much later down the line, when the RX 8000 series will be on the horizon. But as always, we should wait and see independent reviews before making a final judgment. What do you think about the RX 7700 XT so far? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.